on the ground, I learn and explore With aluminum alloy, I'm ready for more ESG32, I'm coding my way In Scratch or Arduino, I'm here to play Kick, tilt, follow and stamp Moving forward like a camp Customize my moves, make them grand A spot, I take command Mask of Monkey King or Santa Claus Changing my look with no pause Step by step through the guide I go Robotics and coding, watch me grow Twelve actions ready, but I can do more Designing the future with skills I adore Object avoidance, I'll move with grace In four directions, I find my place On any occasion, I'm ready to shine With custom masks I redefine Hi everyone and welcome to my brand new video. Today I am going to explore the Bionic Biped Robot Kit presented by Sbot. A big thanks you to Sbot for providing this kit for review. I have previously showcased several robot kits provided by Sbot through my channel. You can find the links to those videos as well as all the details and links about this Bionic Biped Robot Kit in the description below. So let's dive into the video. First, let's start with the unboxing. The main board that controls the Bionic Biped robot is the ESP32 Max version 3. Previously, they included the ESP32 Max version 1 board. There are two main differences between the version 1 and version 3 boards. The first difference is the ability to display the battery voltage level. The second difference is that the version 3 board can charge two 18650 lithium ion batteries connected via the DC jack using the 5 voltage supplied through the USB connector. Remember to remove the protective film for the acrylic plate during assembly. First, let's download the tutorial. You can do this by either using the link provided in the description below or by following the step I will show you. The tutorial file will be in a zip file format. Make sure to unzip it. The method for installing the Arduino IDE is detailed in the PDF file within the tutorial. It provides 
separate instruction for both Windows and Mac PCs. In this case, we need to download and install Arduino ID version 2.2.1. Next, install the ESP32 in the Arduino ID. Please install ESP32 version 2.0.12 and the never version is not compatible with the tutorial library. With many cases, the program to report errors. If you already have version 3.0 installed, uninstall it and reinstall ESP32 version 2.0. After that, add the tree provided library files to the Arduino IDE. Remember to also install the CH340 serial port driver. Before assembling the biped robot, upload the Servo 19 code for the lesson 1 file to ESP32 board. When doing this, select the ESP32 dev module as the board in the ESP32 section. Choose the correct serial port and upload the code. Then assemble the robot according to the assembly step PDF provided in the tutorial file. When attaching the servo horns to the servo motors, make sure the servo motors is positioned at 90 degrees. To achieve this, connect the ESP32 board and provide power as instructed in the VDF and the servo motor will move to the 90 degrees position. Once the servo motor is correctly aligned, attach the servo horns using the provided screws. Carefully study the tutorial PDF, which is divided into 8 lessons that truly understand the movement of the biped robot. I will only present the control of the robot using the ASPOT app in the video, as described in lesson 8. For this, you need to upload the biped robot app code. 
before uploading the code turn on the biped robot and connect it to the computer via the data cable then select the correct board and port and upload the code Download and install the export tab by searching for the export keyword in the App Store for iOS devices or Google Play Store for Android devices. Before opening the export tab, turn on the Wi-Fi and scan for networks. Connect your mobile to the Wi-Fi hotspot named Wi-Pet Robot using the password 12345678. After connecting, open the export tab, select the Wi-Pet Robot and click the connect icon. You can now control the Wi-Pet Robot as you wish.